so many people ask me how to use the gems and crystals they buy and collect. It's important to use them, and not just put them in a drawer or cabinet where they can't be appreciated or experienced. Gems are meant to take the journey with you. Remember gems emit energetic vibrations that impact how you sense, feel, and move in your space. To help you get the most out of your work with them, here are 10 magical ways to use gemstones. I hope they inspire you. 1. Carry in your pocket or purse, or tuck inside your bra. The more you carry your stones with you, and I put mine in my bra so they make skin contact and yet are safely nestled in a place they won't get lost or broken, the more you will begin to feel and sense their energies. So put them in the places you are most likely to see and touch them throughout the day. 2. Dedicate a medicine bag to your magical work. A bag that can hold your stones, maybe some dried herbs or flowers, and other talismans that matter to you. Carry stones in your medicine bag and switch them out based on your intuition and mood, as well as moon phases. 3. Sleep with them. You can put a piece of sodalite or amethyst in your pillowcase to bring sweet dreams and banish nightmares. Or you can place a small grid of stones by your bedside. Keep quartz, carnelian, moldavite, tectide, and other high-frequency or extraterrestrial stones away from your bed. Will make it hard to rest. 4. Meditate with them. Choose two stones for meditation each day and hold one in each hand while you clear your mind and connect with the divine. Do this for 10 minutes per day if possible, and try recording what you sense and intuit from each stone. 5. Make elixirs or infused gem water. Add your favorite gem to your drinking water or take that infused water, add a few drops of alcohol and make an elixir. Please note that some gems are unsafe to use in elixirs, malachite, for example, so do your homework first. But shangshite is actually used in water purification systems. So put a piece in your water right now. 6. Make a grid or decorative display on your altar. Grids are intentional arrangements of stones designed to raise energy for a specific purpose. You need a quartz generator in the center and then sets of four of each stone you want to work with, each facing the four cardinal direction. Any sacred geometric shape is powerful. Use your intuition to arrange by shape, color, texture, size, or other category. Have fun with the process. 7. Put stones in your car. Black tourmaline protects from theft. Crazy Lace Agate protects from accidents, and I carry a Venturine and Rose Quartz in my car to attract luck and love from people I encounter as I drive. I use my ashtray as a traveling altar space. 8. Adorn Yourself Gems should be worn as jewelry every day. You can do a do-it-yourself simple wire wrap of your favorite crystal or tumbled stone and wear immediately. Ideally. Gemstone jewelry allows the stones to touch your skin. 9. Use as home decor. Stones are meant to be arranged and displayed. I like to make vignettes for my home decor and office space with flowers, gems, candles, pretty apothecary bottles, and other items of value to me. Keep it simple, clutter lowers energetic vibrations, but have fun finding ways to display your treasures. Use trays and arrange in rainbow order, or make a healing tray, a prayer tray, or an alignment tray. Arrange on tables or dressers. 10. Use as sacred offerings. When I trim my plants at home, I leave a piece of aventurine tucked into the soil to help the plant grow back strong and healthy. I carry tiny chip stones in my car to leave as offerings as I travel at places that feel like they need an energy boost, or where something sad or tragic has occurred. You can take stones to the beach and leave as offerings to Mama Ocean. Stones are powerful and safe offerings to all of the elements. Enjoy the process of using what you have and collecting. It's a lifelong labor of love.
and so it is.